Hi, this is Dr. Quaid, and I'm contacting you to touch base after the first week of remote learning. I've heard that it went well, so great job, everybody from St. Rita. Fantastic. The target date to uh, begin school regularly is currently April 13th, though that is a fluid date, and we'll keep you posted if anything changes. St. Rita has been around since 1905. It's been a great school that survived many, many difficult times in the past. Other Augustinian schools haven't been as fortunate. For instance, back in the 1920s, as St. Rita was thriving, the Augustinians tried to establish a school out in Aurora as part of the Rockford Diocese. They actually had a beautiful building right on the Fox River uh, that was put up in 1926. Things were going well, and then the Great Depression hit. And the Augustinians turned the building back over to the Diocese of Rockford. Actually, it's interesting that the, the Rockford Diocese then brought up some Benedictines from Jasper, Indiana, who took it over. And the way that they helped to make this thing work and survive there in Aurora was to make it a military school. It became Marmion Military Academy. And when you went to school there, you were given pants, shirts, coats, shoes. And with the very nominal tuition they were charging, you actually came out ahead with all the clothes that you were given. So Marmion's part of the Catholic League now, and there's somebody that we compete with. Another great Augustinian school that no longer is with us is Mendel Catholic. They were established in 1951 when the steel and automotive industry changed things in that part of the city. They just couldn't continue economically, and they closed in 1988. So at this time, the only Augustinian schools in the state are St. Rita and there's Providence. Now Providence is actually a diocesan school that the Augustinians have staffed since 1985. Why does St. Rita last? Well, because so many great people are associated with St. Rita. And one thing we do with these people is we try to recognize them annually by putting a number of people in our Hall of Fame. So something that we're going to be doing throughout this time where we're not able to meet face to face is to start featuring people from our Hall of Fame. And hopefully you can get videos of them like this and they can come and give you words of inspiration. And I'm sure they're always gonna be very, very interesting. So stay tuned for those. In the meantime, keep studying hard, stay safe, and God bless you.